Hey, what's up guys, Eric here. I want to give you guys a quick look at Dainese's top of the line full length boot, the Axial D1. Okay, so some of you may be asking why this boot looks the way that it looks. It doesn't look like a traditional um, race boot, you know, with everything on the outside that, you know, when you put it on, it goes on the outside of your race suit. This boot is designed to work with Dainese suits and it goes on the inside. So when I, when I say inside, the, the suit, the ankle portion of it actually goes on the outside of the boot. Also, as you can see here, it has Velcro in the front and on the side to mate with the uh, Dainese uh, ankle portion of the suit. And then if you look in the rear, it's just like any other standard uh, Dainese boot, like the Torx or anything like that, where you have rear entry. And if you pull it down, what makes this boot Pretty awesome is uh, its support system. So everything is uh, inside of the boot here, as you can see. So um, you do have freedom of movement forward and rear, as you can see here. So you know if you're on the bike and you're shifting, um, it allows you to give you free movement there. And if you're off the bike and you're walking, um, these boots feel really comfortable trying to walk. You also get some uh, nice shin protection here in the front, and there's uh, some cap protection in here in the rear. And then how that works is it just uses Velcro here and tightens around your uh, your cab. All right, and I don't know how well you guys can see it, but there is carbon fiber all on this uh, support system. And you can kind of see it here also on the outside of the boot. And that is what's gonna give you your lateral support there because of the rigidity and the stiffness um, you know, of carbon fiber and everything. So that's gonna be really good protection for your ankle and uh, just all, all around, this boot has really great protection and is using, you know, MotoGP, World Superbike, things of that nature. All right, so this boot is CE Level 2 rated. It does have a replaceable uh, toe slider here that's made of magnesium. And on the inside portion of the boot here, we do get a uh, microfiber slash Alcantara type material here, which is really smooth and uh, won't scratch your bike up. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you putting this boot on and how it fits and everything. Let's put this down out of the way. As you can see, the cab and uh, shin protection here, you can make that as tight as you need to with the Velcro pieces here. Tighten those down. You get a speed lace system and cinch that down. Put that right there and then zip it on up. And there you go. As you can see, you have plenty of movement and everything within this boot. It's lightweight. These boots are very comfortable. And uh, the cool thing is you just don't have to wear this with your suit. If you want more protection on the street and you want to wear this with your jeans, you can do that as well. And if you're like me, I don't like to tuck my jeans inside of, uh, inside of full length boots. So I think this looks really good and it looks like you're wearing a short boot versus a full length boot. The other thing is you might want to pay attention to sizing because I typically wear a 45 euro in boots, but I did have to go a size down in the Axial V1s. I hope this information was helpful and if you got any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.